happy new year. I have not filmed anything in the past two weeks because I had a family visiting and then I got really sick Christmas day. So my family was here for like two and a half weeks. Now it's just back to normal, getting back into my routine of work and everything. Back to home projects. I really want to lime wash my island. And I just got a new planner. Every year I get written planners. This was last year's 2022, which was super cute. I love making to-do lists like that. It just keeps me organized. I know I could do it on my phone, but I love seeing it this way. It just keeps me super organized. Just like daily to-do lists, stuff to do around the house, cleaning routines, laundry, work stuff, appointments, all of that. Because otherwise it just sits in my head and then I get really stressed out about things. Yeah, one of my favorite things to do at the start of every new year is finding a new planner. It's like sticks by my side all year. You may have noticed I am wearing a sweater with my dog's face on it this is milo my husband got me this and i am obsessed with it the only thing is i wish it didn't have a santa hat on it so it wouldn't just be like christmas but i mean it's not christmas anymore and i'm still wearing it so i have people working in the backyard right now so they might think i'm crazy for filming myself but whatever so this is the current view of the kitchen and i love how everything has turned out i love that the lights that i painted it gives it that texture terracotta texture and then there is definitely some texture in the back with the zillige tiles this is the corner of the living room that my tree was in the christmas tree and now that it's not here anymore it looks so plain i really want to put a plant there i definitely want to put like a large tree there i'm not exactly sure if it's enough sunlight like this is a really bright area that's why i purchased this house in the first place but i don't know if that particular corner will be enough sunlight like i really love the look of a shady lady tree Part of the hallway not much is going on here these are the same shades that i have in the living room so my husband just installed them yesterday for these windows for some privacy that's all we got so far actually lime washing the island right now it is currently 6 46 p.m on a saturday night my husband just went to like a work party thing and this is what i'm doing i think it looks really good i was a little skeptical about using this color here but i think in this room it looks more neutral than the like less beige than the powder room. I, I do like the beige in the powder room, but I like how this is, it, it just looks more subtle here. Like this is still white, I haven't done this yet. And that's what it looks like. It's not too much and it's not too matchy to the island lights, even though the island lights, I technically use the same color too, mixed with brown. It's actually really easy to do. And I love how the whole point is to not be perfect with it. So you just, like something i messed up in the beginning when i was doing the powder room for the first time is putting too much on my brush at once like you don't want it to be dripping and then when i put it on i kind of throw it in different directions like this and then i drag it out that's just the way that i do it it's a lot easier doing this than the powder room because i get to sit on the floor 
The other one I had to keep climbing a ladder and that was annoying. This is such a pretty color. I was supposed to do this in the daytime, but I didn't because I was doing other stuff. I went to the gym. I, was, I made some biscuits for my husband to bring to his work party thing. Never got around to it until now. And then I was cleaning for most of the day. Ooh, I was cleaning bathrooms, which is my least favorite thing to do. I will show you the final product because it gets very repetitive. It's the next morning and I wanted to show the final result of the lime wash. I was going for a very subtle, even though it's the same exact color as the one in the powder room, it looks a lot lighter here. I also made it a little bit more difficult on myself when I was doing this last night because I was uh, going to leave the baseboard alone. I don't even know if you can tell, but when I painted this part and had the baseboard untouched, it looked almost too clean and modern. So I ended up painting the baseboard. I had to prime and uh, lime wash that afterwards after I already had cleaned up everything. So I just created some more work for myself, but I love how it looks. You can see all the detail here. And I only did one coat of the lime wash. I think with the lighter color, the one coat does a lot better than if I were to do two. And then it would just look too dark if I did two also. This is the other side. So the window is right behind me. And that's the final product. So for the most part, the kitchen is done except I do want to find some more, I want to thrift some more decor pieces. Like I want a actual fruit bowl. Um, that is just a serving bowl that I'm using right now with a bunch of oranges in it. All right, so I am going to get ready and then we are actually going to go to the plant stand of Arizona again because we really want to get a tree for right there. Definitely need some more plants around. All of my plants are still over there in the dining room. The reason for that is because I still don't have any floating shelves up and I want to put the smaller ones on there. I think I'm just going to focus on some bigger plants at the plant stand. Why is it so shaky? Oh my god, this is terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not bumpy as well. We are here. We only have an hour before they close because they close early on Sunday. together so I can't really walk around. Is that a weird shape? This one's taller. I'm like in a forest. This one's like very full. Okay, let me see. I give you like from the front. This is a hard decision when there's like a million of them. You can't breathe in. It's really hot in here. I know. This is gonna be a long ride home because it's in the front seat and we were really pushing it with the size, so. We got the shady lady. It made it safely. It was a very uncomfortable ride home, but I love how it looks in this space. Um, it's, it's obviously not gonna go randomly right here, but it's a really bright area and I just wanted to acclimate for right now. I think seven feet maybe, possibly. Seven feet. So we thought we were gonna put it in that corner and 
now I realize it's not bright enough for that corner. So it's gonna go into the dining room. So I still need another plant for that corner. It still does get sunlight, just not right now at the moment. So I still need to find a nice pot for it. I have to repot the variegatum on Stara at one point because it needs a larger pot. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.